VFD stands for Variable Frequency Drive. It is used for running an AC motor at variable speeds. Or let them ramp up their speed to give them a smooth startup. There are quite different methods for starting an electric motor, such as direct online. Electric motors often require large amounts of electricity during their accelerating to the nominal speed. A VFD can be used to limit the surge of current known as inrush current, resulting in a safer, smoother and gradual startup. VFDs work by adjusting the frequency of the motor to adjust the RPMs. VFD will actually convert the voltage twice. First, it converts the three-phase AC to DC, by means of diodes then filtered by a capacitor. Next, it will convert the DC to AC, by means of transistor acting as switches. Utilizing these switches is what allows the VFD to adjust the frequency that the VFD supplies to the motor. Let us compare the internal operation of the VFD with a simple plumbing system. The diodes converts the AC to DC. This operates like a check valve in a water system. A check valve, like a diode with electricity, only allows water to flow in one direction. The capacitor acts as a water filter to keep everything clean and usable. The transistors act like valves. They turn the flow on and off when needed. This allows the VFD to adjust the frequency to the motor. A water treatment plant typically has a constant flow of water coming into the plant. However, if the water demand exiting the plant is lower than the supply entering the plant, then the operator will need to slow down the supply. This is achieved by using a VFD on the AC motor. VFDs can be controlled with a PLC. Using basic communication protocols such as RS-232 and RS-485. PLCs can monitor and control motor speeds using the VFD. This setup can be used in any situation that would benefit from automation. Here are some things to be consider in wiring a variable frequency drive. First is the MCCB, molded case circuit breaker. When a ground fault interrupter is used, select the one with no influence for high frequency. Setting current should be 200 mA or above, and the operating time at 0.1 second or longer, to prevent malfunction. MC or magnetic contactor, it is not always necessary to have the MC on the input side. However, an input MC can be used to prevent an automatic restart after recovery from an external power loss during remote control operation. AC reactor. When power capacity is significantly large compared to inverter capacity, or when the power factor needs to be improved, externally connect an AC reactor. Many VFD manufacturers install reactors in the drives. It is always a good idea to check. Input noise filter. To comply with certain communication and interference regulations, input noise filters are to be installed. Many manufacturers include these filters. Variable frequency drive. Wire input to terminals L1, L2 and L3 for three-phase input. Make sure to connect the ground terminal to an appropriate safety ground. Output noise filter or EMI suppression. When used with output noise filter, radiated and conducted emissions may be reduced. Filters protect motors from EMI and voltage transients output from the drive itself. Not required if the motor is inverter rated. Motor. When multiple motors are driven in parallel with an VFD, the VFD rated current should be at least 1.1 times the total motor rated current. Make sure that the motor and the variable frequency drives are separately grounded.
Here are some benefits in using a variable frequency drive. Energy saving, low motor starting current, high power factor, higher efficiency, protection from high inrush currents. Thermal and mechanical stress in the motor is reduced, simple installation, better system control, remote mounting, and reduce maintenance. Variable frequency drive or VFD can be used in lots of fields. It is widely used to control the speed of AC motors, like conveyor systems, blower speeds, pump speeds, machine tool speeds, and other applications that require variable speed with variable torque. To stay up to date with the latest videos, make sure to subscribe to the machine channel by clicking the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.